Hello friends, uh, often we come across a situation where uh, we have to rotate the crossbow from normal camber like minus 2% or minus 1, 2.5, uh, 5% to 1% uh, depending on the site requirement or a drainage requirement and generally we do that with the help of corridor uh, vertical targets like we provide the feature lines or 3D poly lines or any profile to target and to rotate the crossfall from minus 2% to 1% or some but it's a bit of tedious that you have to calculate the feature lines level you have to assign the levels and uh, also it's not very much dynamic uh, as you need to change the uh, transition length or you need to change the uh, rotation percentage Again, you have to calculate the feature lines level or you have to straight the feature lines levels and etc. So, there is another tool in the Civil 3D where we can do it very smoothly and uh, with a fewer commands. And that tool is Super Elevation. Yes, we can use the Super Elevation visual for normal transition as well. Uh, now, let's see how we can do that here. Here I have one plots and uh, routes going on. Uh, there's already corridor ripples and you can see the contour with the uh, minus two percent normal crossfall. Now suppose I have some drainage requirement or a junction requirement where I want the, uh, this part uh, to crossfall plus one percent or minus one percent from normal camber. So how we can do this with the super elevation wizard? So let's see uh, the process. First, what we need is to select the alignment. Once you select the alignment, you can see on the ribbon bar this uh, super elevation menu pump. You have to go to super elevation and then calculate edit super elevation. Click on that. And here it gives two options. You have to choose select open super elevation curve manager. You can select that. And here you can see the alignment already has two curve and it shows that two curve. But I want uh, my transition on this straight path. So what I do, I create one user defined curve on this straight path. So I click on here and I click this straight path. Now remember, if you have to create a user defined curve, you always have to select the straight path. Otherwise, it wouldn't come. So you can select the alignment and hit enter. So now you can see here uh, you create a one user defined curve. So now let's put some values in that. So you go to the tabular editor and you can see here user defined curve. Now you have to assign the uh, changes uh, at the area where you want to transition. So suppose I am coming from minus 2% normal camber here. And I assume with my design where there is 30 or 40 meter transition required from minus 2% to plus 1%. So suppose I will uh, start my transition agent from 6, 360 and give us 50 meter uh, transition and then I go with the 1% uh, up to the junctions as per my drainage or design requirement. So let's see how we can do that. Uh, First, you need to go in a user defined curve. Now you can see here, I do not have any curves, uh, super elevation. So what I need, I need to basically first need to assign a normal camber to an entire alignment. And why are we doing that? Because we are going to assign the super elevation value to our assembly. And once we assign the super elevation value to our assembly, it's going to replicate to the entire corridor. So there is a reason you have to apply the super elevation from start and to the end as well because there is no super elevation already allotted to it or no normal camber allotted to the alignment yet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna create one air station and we select four stations and we uh, enter change, start change, zero. So from zero, 
you can see one uh, region is created and you can see that my uh, uh, we can put the value that my normal cross follow is minus two percent and right off side then also minus two percent okay so i'm beginning my quarter with the minus two percent and two percent now i have to assign the end radius so first i'm declaring that my entire corridor is have a normal timber of minus two percent so i'm going and my select the loss chain edge here and it is my transition out radius and I am assigning to minus 2% on and minus 2% as well okay so here I have given that my normal camber for the entire road is minus 2% now for the particular chain is I suppose 450 to 483 I want it uh, plus 1% on the right side and minus 1% on the left side uh, so let's see how we can do that uh, for that we need some transition length so suppose like uh, from 360 uh, to 420 will provide the transition and, and we will rotate in that area so we are going to add a few more stations so here you can add stations and you add your transition start stations let's say 360 okay and you add your transition and stations uh, let's say 410 you can also write the change 410 so this is my transition start and station from transition beginning it will be a minus two percent and minus two percent and at the end of transition it should be a, on left side it's a minus one percent and on the right side it should be plus one percent I have to continue this up to the end of the chain edge. So what I will do, I'll just change this my end station to minus one and two plus one percent. Now I have to give my assembly that it should follow this uh, table. So what I'll do, I'll go in my sub assembly and I click uh, super elevation yeah. to this is my right side so I will apply right lane outside and same thing from the left side I should apply left side outside so I'm assigning my assembly that it should follow that table and its table value I'm sorry uh, yeah left outside okay so once you do that you just need to rebuild your corridor and you can see the contours are changing it is falling both sides then that's a transition and you can see it is a one percent and minus one percent at the end of the uh, our alignment where we require now the benefit of this method that you can easily change the transition suppose I have to provide only 30 meter transition end so I can easily 14 minus 30 380 meter and just need to rebuild see so that's the benefit of it so you can once you put the value you just need to change I also if I want it to a uh, 2% I can easily just to 0.2% 0.1% and 0.1% you just need to add in the tables your change value and your super elevation value or rotation value and you just need to ripple so it is quite easy then like creating feature lines and editing level calculating levels and all those things 
and it's very much dynamic as you can see you can just add change your uh, stations and values and it will be automatically rebuild everything one more benefit of this method that you can show these things in your band like right now i have band of super elevation and you can see they already showing the values so you can also graphically represent this change of super elevation or this transitions in your band as well also you can assign some values uh critical station to this so let's see i can assign this value to critical station is my begin full super elevations and this one to my end of full super elevation and you can see here the changes and everything is come up okay i have then one more this is to let's say my transit and uh, i can you can assign any uh, critical stations so i will assign this is my begin normal ground okay and you can see the stations and the values and everything come up so this is the way you can graphically represent as well and very easily you can change your role over anything you want as per the drainage or site requirement and everything okay thanks thanks for watching this video